here's some principles that I think that are useful, uh, that would be very useful for anybody in an MBA program moving into either joining a company or developing their own company. Um, develop a set of principles. It's very important that in times where things are out of control and everything is moving and everything is changing like they are with our current climate, literally, you know, ecological climate as well as political climate, that you have a set of like moral compass, so to speak, of what you're trying to do. And whenever you feel lost, go back to what is your principles? What are your, what are your tenets that you've agreed to, that you're going to stick through, you know, to adhere to as you move through the project you're working on? Because it's very easy to lose focus as you're moving down a project and you go, oh, I want to do that, I want to do that. But what is the core thing you're actually trying to do? What principles are you aligning to? What user value are you adhering to is very important. The other thing that's very important to realize and creativity often brings us up is that when you're embarking on anything new, you're going to have an initial feeling of discomfort, but that's going to pass. But anytime you step into the unknown, it is discomforting. And I think a huge amount of our anxiety right now, um, given the global situation with the pandemic and multiple pandemics, so to speak, is that it's discomforting because it's unknown. And then what you have to do is lean into the unknown and start to make structure. And making structure, again, leads to the previous slide of having principles and tenets that you adhere to that kind of give you guardrails as you're going into things that you don't know. That being said, I do think that David Bowie was extremely prescient with his thinking about this quote. Always go a little further into the water than you feel you are capable of being in. Go a little bit out of your depth. When you don't feel your feet are quite touching the bottom, you're just about in the right place to do something exciting. And this is something, by the way, which I think young people are intrinsically comfortable with. But as we get older and we progress in our careers, there's more at stake, our risk profile reduces exponentially. And we tend to do the safe thing. And we measure everything to death because we think that's the way to get through it. But in reality, you have to get to a point of feeling that tingling sensation of just being, eh, should I do this? I'm not sure. That's actually the area of discomfort you have to be comfortable with. And then the other thing I also let people know on my team um, is that they're spending eight to 10 hours of their life every day. And yes, the trade is this, you're gonna get paid. Every two weeks, you're gonna get insurance. And that's a wonderful thing. I'm very happy to have a job. I'm very grateful for that. But in, ex in exchange, the company is expecting value from you. And that's good. That's the barter that we're doing. Remember, though, beyond that, that you don't get that time back. So yes, make sure whatever company you're working in is something that you feel like you're learning from, that you're engaged with. And then also make sure that you are spending time for yourself, which I'll get to later on. The other thing about creativity, which is not something that you do by just sitting still. As you saw earlier, a lot of the creative process of even designing is not sitting there going, okay, I got it, I'm gonna write it down. It is a series of, of mis, misstarts. And it's a series of writing things down and then taping things up and then moving things away and throwing away. It's a very messy process. And you wanna be as messy as possible in the beginning until you get into more of a refined state. And again, the an analogy with painting would be you start with a very big brush at the beginning and you slop the paint on and you're basically blocking out areas and you end up with a very thin brush at the end as you're putting the details on. But you don't start with a thin brush first. You start with the larger blocking in of the thinking. 